Hey, I'm Xiaofei Zhang. I'm a postdoc at the University of Minnesota in the Department of Agronomy and Plant Genetics. I work in Professor Jim Anderson's group. As part of the Forever Green Initiative, our group focuses on improving intermediate wheat grass. I'd like to share with you a little bit about our project. In this project, I work with Dr. Jim Anderson, Don Weiss, Lee De Han, and food scientist Dr. Peterson, Squinfus, and Ismail. Intermediate wheat grass and the perennial plant has much more well-developed roots than annuals, such as winter wheat. With the deep root, intermediate wheat grass can access nutrients and waters in large volume of soil, and their deep roots can prevent erosion and help soil hold down to critical minerals such as phosphorus and nitrate. The rampant growth of intermediate wheat grass after harvest can help to build soil carbon and enrich soil. Moreover, the land planted with intermediate wheat grass does not need tilling and requires fewer passes of farm equipment and less herbicide. Besides a bio-benefit for environment, intermediate wheat grass have the potential to produce large grain yield for food and large amount of straw for biofuel or cattle. In this project, our goal is to domesticate intermediate wheat grass into a perennial green and biomass crop. So what we are doing now is to create a new germplasm with big green yield, good food quality, and large biomass. Now we use traditional breeding methods to improve intermediate wheat grass. We select good lines with large green yield and biomass for evaluation. Based on the evaluation results, we select the best 20 lines and make cross in the greenhouse. Their seeds will be used for the next selection cycle. And we also use the new breeding methods such as genomic selection. Next generation sequencing technology creates a low-cost genotyping platform and helps to generate genome-wide molecular markers. These markers allow us to develop the genomic selection model and assemble all important genes to create superior intermediate wheat grafts germplasms. In this project, we try to accelerate the domestication of intermediate wheat grass, and we hope to obtain a forever grown crop for food and biofuel within the next decade. Thank you for letting me share my research with you. To find out more about our research, please follow the website below. Thank you.